What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm semi moving in to the bus. Semi, semi, I mean, I'm bringing a bunch of stuff that I have stored in my mom's living room that's been in there for a couple months now. I'm just trying to get it out of her way. So first, you guys saw the big solar panels. I got my Renogy solar panels. I got my Renogy battery and inverter. So the battery is outside. It's quite heavy. But to get started, I ordered my memory foam mattress a while back and I'm so excited to open it up. So let's open it. as to not cut the actual mattress. It would be, you know, not great. Here's the fun part. because I'm dirty and I don't want to lay on it when I'm clean. Oh, oh. y'all, I am over the moon. Can you believe it? I have a bed. <laughs> this is going to be one wicked little tiny house. This just like made my day. I'm so excited. It's ridiculous. Y'all, I can't even. All right, let's pop this sucker open. Get some air in here. so proud so as you guys can see there's space here I'm gonna be building some cabinets that will double as my headboard I guess kind of but that'll be for clo clothing storage that I um, plan on basically clothes that I wear often so that'll be stuff that I get into often so down here we have the Renogy solar panels, but also another cool thing I haven't showed you guys, I haven't talked about it. My refrigerator. So this is my refrigerator. I will be doing a full review on this refrigerator after I use it a little bit. Um, but it is from Ice Co. obviously, and I'm super, super excited. I won't go into too much detail on it, but it is a dual 
uh, refrigerator. So I do have um, a fridge side and then this other side is the freezer. And so there is a ton of room in here. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> and it's really exciting to finally get it into the bus. So basically, as we talked about on the floor plan video, this is going to be going over here somewhere in this general area. And then this will be on uh, some type of slide out drawer system. So I'll be able to pull it out and push it back in. And it might be able to scoot all the way to the wheel well, but I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I want the stove there or um, depending on if I do wind up building the sides up the way I'm thinking I want to, that I think it, I don't know. Cause the counters will come pretty high, but if the stove is too close to the bed for my comfort, which a lot of you pointed out that I may not want the stove next to the bed because of splash. I was thinking that there would be enough backsplash to cover the bed. At this point, it's still in the design phase. So if that's the case, I don't have an issue with um, making it opposite and putting the stove on that side if it fits. So right now that's the idea. So with the refrigerator, I don't know that the stove would fit on that side in the fridge be able to be underneath it. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm still not set on a full RV stove. If it comes down to it, I may just go with the two burners on top and get a, con a convectional oven. I don't know. Like I said, I don't particularly make solid planning plans because I tend to change my mind ever so often. So as you guys know, I power a lot of my stuff with my Jackery. But what you don't know is I got another really cool battery bank system. Well, let me show you. I got a Blue Eddy solar generator. And I like, again, I'm not going to go into full detail on this because I'll, I'll probably be doing a review on this as well, but I think it's the Blue Eddy 200P. It's a 2000 watt generator. I'm super stoked to have this and I can't wait to really put it to work and see really what I can power. It'd be awesome if I'm able to power my um, electronics as far as like, the kitchen stuff goes, like my blender, a convectional oven, my hair dryer, my straightener, not my straightener, my wand, like stuff like that. I'm really excited to see how much power it actually uses. And so this actually has the fold out solar panels, just like my other Blue Eddy and the Jackery. So that'll be interesting to see how often I charge it, how long it lasts and how complicated it's gonna be for me to lug this around and charge it and stuff like that. So that's another thing that you guys um, can expect in the future. And one last really cool thing that I haven't talked about that I wanted to share with you guys is my portable shower system. So this awesome company, Geyser, sent me this portable shower and I will not necessarily do a review on it, but I do want to talk about this and show you guys how it works because more often than not, this is probably what I'm going to be using to shower when I'm on the road. And I probably won't necessarily be using the traditional shower that I'm hoping to have in the bus if it works out the way that I'm hoping it does. So this thing is really cool and you can take hot showers with it and you can conserve water. So this was made by a van lifer for van lifers and I'm really excited to put it to use and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because if you are living this lifestyle, or thinking about it or currently in a build process and you're wondering what you can do for a shower if you can't necessarily do a traditional one, this might be a great option for you. And 
if you want to check it out now you can go check them out on Instagram and I'll link them in the description below but this is a really cool system they have two of them one that heats it up for you and this one is the non-heated one where you just heat your water in a pan or on the stove and then you put it in there and it stays hot so that's what I'll probably wind up doing since I do have a burner but if you don't have a burner they do have one that is electric and it heats it up for you so again this is something that I will be getting into later on but as you know, I have my Max fan to install. I have so much stuff going on, but I'm going out of town and I'm going to take a break and I'm gonna go spend some very much needed quality time with my best friends, my family, and some new friends that I haven't met and some that I've met, but I don't know very well. So I am doing some things I've never done before and I'm really, really excited. So I am super gross and dirty. I'm gonna go take a shower and get to packing and I will see you guys in the morning i have a couple other things i'd like to say good morning you guys i moved a bunch more stuff into the bus um some of this i had in my mom's house just in her living room and stuff that i wanted to get out of her way of course all of that's the solar panels which i will be putting in when i get back so then that will be out of the way and this is a box of just some random stuff i had in the van that i need to go through and decide what i want to keep and what i don't want to keep and then other than that it's uh oh i got some bed stuff up there too but other than that it's everything you saw me put in yesterday and my mom's living room is finally clean that being said it's time to say goodbye to the bus for a little while i'm taking a much needed break i'm headed to texas i got my bags packed and ooh, it's hot in here got my bags packed and i'm about to go aboard the airplane so next time you guys see me i will be in texas and i can't wait to share my texas experience with you guys and i hope you enjoy a little bit of content that's slightly different than what you're used to seeing on my channel but kind of similar to what you will see on my channel in the future when i do start traveling just a little less bus and a little more airplane and um airbnbs maybe some hotels i don't know maybe some camping we'll see <laughs> So stay tuned for that. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And if you don't mind liking this video, if you enjoyed it, and then if you enjoy my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe because it does help a super huge amount. And thank you to everyone who is subscribed and who comments and likes videos. And even if you dislike it, I still do appreciate it. So thank you guys again, and I will see you guys next time in Texas.